It's been 17 years Hi. since audiences last took the red pill. Have we met? And discovered the Matrix. No one thought there would ever be another. I heard rumors about, you know, reboots or people would say on the street, you know, will there be another Matrix? And I'd be like, uh, maybe, but I'm dead. It was very surreal. It's my turn to believe in her. Carrie Ann Moss reuniting this week with Keanu Reeves for their iconic roles as Neo and Trinity, saving humanity from a mind-controlled alternate universe. In the fourth installment of the game-changing sci-fi franchise, The Matrix Resurrections. You're acting while you're hanging off a 40-story building. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, we're there, we're in it. It's high drama amidst a thriller. And comedy, it's funny, and romantic, <laughs> yeah. and there's some great action. Their inseparable bond, a major theme for the film, directed by Lana Wachowski, their sizzling connection stretching back decades on and off screen. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. After we spoke, I realized my life wasn't alive. At some point, I think I gave up searching for something real. What explains this chemistry between the two of you? We like each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think Keanu's blushing. I think. No. <laughs> Which is good, I don't mind. I'm <laughs> blush away. I know it makes you deeply uncomfortable to be known as the nicest guy in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, because there's a really a lot of really incredible, nice people in Hollywood. And I, I, am, I am not exceptional in that. And uh, so, but anyway, thank you. I suspect you just displayed your niceness thank just there. You. The duo joined by new faces, Neil oh, Patrick Harris. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. And Priyanka Chopra. Thank you for seeing me. How did you say yes, Priyanka? And why? I would play the table in The Matrix if I was asked. Or chair, I'm fine. I <laughs> won't make a distinction between my choice of furniture, but I got a call by my agent just to say that Lana wants to meet you in San Francisco the next day. So I did. Chatted with her for an hour, and then she said, welcome to The Matrix. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. Also welcomed along, newcomer Jessica Hendrick. Jessica, what was so meta is that you play a fangirl of Matrix in the movie, and in real life... I am a fangirl. I, too, would have played any bit of furniture offered to me. <laughs> <laughs> Those meta scenes are, are some of my favorite. Where are we? Tokyo. A moving portal makes it harder to track us. I don't remember this. We don't have to run to phone booths anymore, either. The Matrix is synonymous with some of the best action scenes in Hollywood, and the bar is so high. It was 100% from the top, all the way until we wrapped 11 months after I was cast. It just occurs to me, as an Asian-American woman, seeing Priyanka and Keanu and you, this is quite a bit of AAPI representation going on right it here. It is, yeah. <laughs> In The Matrix, Neo was the prophesized chosen one, destined to rescue humanity from a simulated computer world. That was 1999. I look back and I go, oh my God. I grew and I became more empowered um, through playing Trinity, by facing all of the physical things that I did, riding a motorcycle with an actor on the back and what that took, not only in a skill set, like learning how to do it, but what it took, it was the mind that I had to conquer. What was it like being on the back of that motorcycle? So much fun. <laughs> it was good. Because, yeah, because we were partner, partnering up and we were trying to escape and, and, you know, the adventure of it and to, you know, be on the back with Trinity. <laughs> it's not so bad. 100% natural. Another new face, Yahya Abdul Mateen. Oh, all the explanation you need. Replacing Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus, the man who first offered Neo the blue pill or red pill, a life in the dream world of the Matrix, or a plunge into the harsh truth of reality. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. It's a dream, you know? Like, when I talk about this, it's like, 
who wouldn't want to play Morpheus? You know, who hasn't imagined at some time that they were Morpheus if you've been a fan of The Matrix? You know, uh, I certainly have. Reenacting the dojo scenes, you know, in the living room and <laughs> practicing my little version of the Ali shuffle and things like that. I felt either I'm having a mental breakdown again or I'm living inside a computer-generated reality that has imprisoned me again. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris plays Neo's therapist in a mind-bending role. Not much of a choice. No. Maybe it's not as binary as that. Maybe there are other ways to understand what happened. It was a little out of body to be staring at Keanu Reeves the entire time <laughs> as the analyst, just because... Out of body how? Where did your body go? <laughs> well, no, I mean, he's an authentically wonderful person and a good scene partner, and so to be able to have real scenes of connection in a psychological way was a rarity, you know? It was fun. Those scenes building on the legacy of the 1999 original, which pushed the boundaries of movie making at the time. I was like 16, 17 when I first saw it, and I remember feeling a shift in my expectation from cinema, feeling a shift in pop culture when The Matrix first came out. So anyone who's fond of cinema, you cannot deny how Matrix shifted um, how movies were made, how movies were imagined, hmm. how our imagination could take flight, you know. The new film means a new adventure for diehard Matrix fans, but for the cast, it means so much more. To be here talking about something that has meant so much to me, to be with Keanu and Neo and to be Trinity again and to be with all of these beautiful artists, it's been so amazing. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.